So here we are, it's a gorgeous spring day and I'm stood in the middle of a huge field of purple sprouting broccoli which we're just starting to pick. So uh, my mother used to grow this stuff in the garden, um, so I've been eating it for 45, dare I say, almost 50 years now and I just think it is the most wonderful vegetable. It comes uh, in February, March, April, even the beginning of May, which is the most difficult times to have uh, you know, good vegetables. That's the time that we call the hungry gap in the UK. And I just think it just tastes, it has so much kind of vigour and more, more flavour than the broccoli that you'll be buying in a supermarket, which uh, um, <laughs> I can't say, it smells, tastes like farts to me, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> it's, um, it just has much more, well it is fresher, it's locally grown and it just has more, it just has a more, a fresher, almost more kind of vigorous flavour to it. I just know that this stuff, I just intuitively know that it's, it's so, so good for me when I eat it. So I do, I do think it's actually a little bit unfortunate that purple sprouting broccoli has become a bit of a kind of, I don't know, something for middle class foodies or something. I mean it is unfortunately a bit more expensive than broccoli and that's simply because of the amount of time it takes to pick it. Um, but it is a very traditional vegetable, something that we've been eating for decades in this country. I've been eating it virtually since I was born so I mean let's forget about it. it's the implications of it for classifying as socio-economically it is just a fantastic vegetable and let's enjoy it for that.